Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Feedback on my other one brand makeup tutorials has been so good. I decided to continue with the one brand or full face of one brand series. And today I am using a full face of NARS. NARS has been one of my favorite makeup brands for years. I would say next to Charlotte Tilbury, NARS would probably be the first runner up when it comes to brands that I have the most of in my collection. That said, I did purchase a few things specifically for this video, which by the way, is in partnership with Nordstrom. They are the one retailer where I can seem to find the lesser known NARS products or a more comprehensive shade selection within each product line, like lip glosses or lipsticks or blushes. What I'm trying to say is that Nordstrom usually has the full shade range in a specific category. And that's just one of the many reasons why I love shopping at Nordstrom and partnering with Nordstrom on these videos. Everything will be listed and linked in the description box to Nordstrom. You can use their buy online, pick up in store service. They have curbside pickup. You can also just use their free shipping. And I use that a lot. And I find their shipping to be very, very quick, especially when it comes to beauty items. In this video, I will take you step by step on how I go from this to this using a full face of NARS Cosmetics. All right, I've got you zoomed in, and today we are going to start with foundation, I think. Sometimes I start with the eyes, sometimes I start with my face. I think I'm gonna start with the face today. I'm not going to use any foundation primer today. I will be using eyeshadow primer, but I am finally trying out the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I have spoken about all of the NARS matte foundations in the past because I have very oily skin, but lately I have been trying out more radiant foundations. This NARS Natural Radiant Longwear is one of the only NARS foundations that I have yet to try. So we're doing it today, we're testing it today. I know when I mentioned that I was going to be doing this video in another video, I was asked if I could try out and give an opinion on the newly reformulated Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer, which I could, but number one, I really wanted to try this foundation, and number two, for this look, I need or I wanted a little bit more coverage. This is a great everyday sheer to buildable to medium coverage product. It is really, really nice and I highly recommend it if you prefer a tinted moisturizer to a foundation and you want something that has an SPF 30. I'm shaking it up a little first. I always shake my foundations before I use them. I love the packaging on this and I love a pump. I think all foundations, as long as they're liquid foundations, should come with a pump. So fingers crossed the shade works for me. I'm gonna do two tiny pumps they're very tiny pumps. Not a lot comes out with each pump. And now let's see. I think this actually might be a really good color match. Wow, this is nice coverage. By the way, not everything I'm going to use in this video is going to be a first impression. I've used most of these products many, many times, just not this. Does anyone else have skin that one day is looking just spectacular and then the next day you wake up and your skin just looks terrible wow this looks so good if i end up loving this i'm going to be kicking myself for not trying it sooner this has really amazing coverage well i mean it is labeled medium to full coverage i think but look at that. And I'm just gonna keep patting for a couple minutes, but I'm not gonna make you watch all that. I will edit out most of this patting or blending, should I say. All right, so now that my foundation is on, I'm gonna move on to concealer. And I've been using the Radiant Creamy Concealer for years, it's one of my favorites. And 
all of the shade names will be listed in the description box. Now to add a little bit of color and life back into my skin, I'm using the new bronzing cream in the shade Laguna. It's called Sunkissed Bronzing Cream. <laughs> Oops. Used a little bit too much. This is only my second time using this product. I don't know why I just did what I did. <laughs> Usually I do start off with a small amount and then build up, but I don't know what that was all about. I went right in there, didn't I? I absolutely love this product. I mean, look at what a mess that first application was and I was able to blend it out so easily so it looks normal. I run a bit through here so it looks like the sun is hitting me naturally or the sun hit me naturally. All right, so for my lids, I'm actually using the Pro Prime eyeshadow base in medium dark. In the past I've used just the clear and then I've used light and I've also used medium, but I wanted to try the medium dark because I've seen a lot of makeup artists use this as an eyeshadow, just a one and done cream eyeshadow because it's sort of like a dark reddish brown, but I am going to use it as a base for some other eyeshadows I'm using. But I'm interested to see what this looks like just on its own. The Pro Prime eyeshadow base in general has been one of my favorites for a really long time. Wow, yeah. Look at that. That really does make a nice one and done eyeshadow. And by the way, if I ever link something and you go to the website and it says that it's sold out, definitely see if it's available at your local Nordstrom store. I know not everyone has a local Nordstrom store, but if you do, I would call and ask and give the sales associate your name and have them call you when they get it in stock. So if for some reason you can't get your hands on the medium dark, the medium works great, and as I said, just the regular Pro Prime is excellent, as well as the light, if you have lighter skin. So brows, I do have a NARS brow pencil, but I purchased it when I was a brunette. Some of you might not know this, but about five years ago, I went very, very dark with my hair. I was every shade from jet black to light brown, you know, everything in between. So I purchased this at the time. I'm gonna use it because we're doing a full face of NARS, and I'm just gonna use a light hand. Okay, brows are done. If you ever find that you have purchased a brow pencil that is too dark, just really ease up on the pressure that you apply when using the pencil, and you can get a lighter look from it. And then of course, if you use a clear brow gel or something like that on top, you can lighten it up that way as well. Boy, my hair is getting crazier and crazier by the second. All right, let's do some eyes. I have two eyeshadow palettes here that I want to use. One is the NARS Claudette eyeshadow palette. At least I think that's what it's called. No, it's actually called the Saint Germain de Pre, de Pre eyeshadow palette. Then I also have the new Summer Solstice palette. So I think I may use a combo of both of these. Beginning with this shade right here. I'm going to apply this to my crease. Well, basically all over where I applied the eyeshadow primer. And I'm bringing it out on an angle. Oops, I always forget to do this. I have to zoom you in. I know my viewers really like to see the eyeshadow done up close. So yeah, I'm just covering this entire area. I'm gonna move on to this palette and using a flat brush, I am going to use 
this ivory shimmer shade in the middle and unpacking that on the inner half of my eye. And I want it to be a little bit more bold, so I'm gonna take my finger and go into this shade right here and press that on top. Now, we're gonna add a little pink to this look. And I'm gonna go in with this shade right here from the Summer Solstice Palette. And I'm gonna put that right next to where I placed those first two shades. Not at the very outer corner of my eye, but just sort of in between what I'm gonna put on the outer corner and then the lighter shades on the inner corner. And then I'm gonna go back with the first brush I used and I'm gonna take a little bit of this sort of reddish brown shade. Oops, I don't think I showed it. This right here. And I'm gonna put my chin up and look down and blend out the crease once again. And notice how I have my fingers towards the back of the brush so I can get a really light pressure. And now I'm gonna go back to the Saint Germain palette and I can't decide what I wanna use. I think I'm gonna use, should I use this one or this one? I think I'm gonna use the one in the middle. And the brush I'm using, by the way, is just one that came in an Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette. And I'm extending it out towards my temples. And since we're venturing into glam territory with this look, I'm gonna brighten up the lid even more with this shade from the Solstice Palette. I just want it to really stand out. I am going to use a pink shimmer shade that we placed right here. I'm gonna put that right in the center of my lower lash lines. Actually, I'm going to bring it in a little bit, too. So scratch that. I'm bringing it from here to halfway under my eye. And then I'm going back to this palette and using the shade that I used on the outer corners on the outer third of my lower lash lines as well and bringing it up to give it a winged effect. And by doing this, now I can go back in with a brush, a flat brush, and sort of connect the outer corners of the shadow to the wing I just did. Hopefully that makes sense. I just don't want there to be a gap here. As you can kind of see there's a gap between where the shadow is and where that line I just created is. So I go back in and add color. And if it looks kind of harsh, you just take your finger and blend it out. You can actually go in with a brush too and just clean it up so there's no harsh edges. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna do any liner for this look, but I am gonna go 
curl my lashes and apply some NARS Climax Mascara and come right back. Okay, I was feeling a little extra because I am filming this on a Friday and not that I have any big plans for the evening. I just really wanted to go full glam. I have not done a full glam look in a minute. So I added some corner lashes and a little black pencil to my waterline. Now I'm gonna use another product from the Claudette collection. This is the Blush Duo in Quasette and Ninachka. This duo is beautiful. I'm going to take a brush and swirl into both shades and I am going to pop this a little bit higher on my cheeks. I'm not putting it right on the apples, but right here. And for a little extra glow, I'm using the NARS highlighter in Fort de France. And now the only thing I have left to do is the lips, but before I move on to that step, I am going to set my face very lightly with the NARS Translucent Light Reflecting Powder. I honestly forgot I had this powder. It was in the back, back, back of my vanity drawer. And I don't know why, because it's really good. I'm gonna take a small brush, tap off the excess, and apply a little bit under my eyes. And then just a little bit through my T-zone where I get shiny. And because I'm wearing a radiant foundation, this is a necessary step. Because even though it doesn't look too radiant right now, it could later. So this will help. This might be my new favorite complexion routine. So let's put on some lips. For lip liner, I am using the Precision Lip Pencil in Vents. I know it's not Venice, it's Vents. There's no I in here, it's just V-E-N-C-E. -E. And another product I forgot how much I loved. See, this is why it's great for me to do these one brand videos because then it makes me pull out everything I have from that brand and rediscover some great things. This is the NARS Lip Gloss in Chelsea Girls. Now is that a beautiful lip combo or not? So here is the completed look. Of course I have to try it a couple more times, but my first impression of the Radiant Longwear is very good. And I do feel like the shade I chose, Fiji 5, is spot on. It definitely appeared to be a little light at first, but no, it matches beautifully. And especially when used with the new bronzing cream, I think it's a winning combo. And then, as I mentioned earlier, the loose powder is pretty fab as well. And the eyeshadows, the blush duo, the lip combo, the highlighter, I really love it all. I think this look came out really, really good. And even the darker brow pencil managed to be okay. I like it. I like it a lot and I hope you do too. And if you did enjoy this tutorial, please give the video a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button. I do try to upload new content at least twice per week. You can also let me know in the comments what other one brand tutorials you're interested in seeing. I have created an entire one brand tutorial playlist so you can easily reference back to whatever brand you're most interested in. And yeah, I think that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.